What's up, YouTubers? This is Sean Money Diddy Productions. I'm going to do a review on the Samsung 4000 watt Giga system and do a quick review on the Sony LBT GPX 555 1800 watt system. I'm going to start with the Sam Samsung one. There's the main unit. Here's the speakers. These speakers are huge, by the way. That's an 18, 18 inch subwoofer. And I mean, I got, I got fairly large hands and it makes my thumb look puny. That's a 10 inch woofer, four inch mid, one inch tweeter, base radiator, base radiator, and then another two subwoofer base radiators at the bottom there. These are two and a half inch outlets, and these are, I think, three inch outlets. It's hard to see. In case you're wondering, off the bat, yes, this stereo produces enough bass to crack a window. It actually changes, you can feel the air pressure moving back and forth in the room on a heavy bass boosted song. As I found out earlier today, it'll actually, it'll take the hair, the hair uh, on your arms and push it one way and back the other. That's a lot of bass. And that's just the Samsung system alone. The two systems are actually paired together. So, if I want, I can play both systems simultaneously on one song with a total of 5,800 watts of speaker power, which is out of the world. This is a lot of fucking speaker power. Alright, I'm going to power on the unit. That's what it does. That's the scary part. I don't like when they power on red. And then change colors. But, uh, yeah. You got your Tom Toms, or it says Party Beat. But basically, let me I'll turn this up so you can hear it better. That's all right. different tunes wow. that was kind of funny I always did like that and then back over to 7 which is the one I usually keep it on there's my favorites and you got your Giga Party here which Another YouTube nicknamed it uh, the police callers, and I couldn't agree more. Basically, what this button does is, no, it doesn't just beef up the subwoofers; it beefs up the whole stereo. But yes, it does add a lot of bass, but it makes the highs, the woofers, everything just becomes more powerful. If I could estimate, if I could make an estimate, it probably adds, it probably opens up about another 20% at least of a. Uh, speaker power so I usually keep it off uh, for many reasons one because it yes will get the cops called on you two I don't know I don't feel like it's necessary to, to have all that power wide open all the time I like to surprise myself so I'll leave it turned off and you also got football mode which you got announcer mode which sounds pretty good you got stadium mode damn it you got stadium mode if you want more of a 3D sound, which I actually do like a lot, but it's nitpicky. It doesn't work the best on bass boosted songs. Play on high quality, clean songs, and it will sound amazing. Especially CDs. Select a CD of your choice, you know, like Linkin Park or something like that. It turns out really good on rock with a light and moderate bass. 
balance DQ, but anyhow. All right, and you got your USB drive port one and two. All right, I'll, here I'll demonstrate. I got set on two there. Yeah, it's pretty loud. It's the Undertaker theme. All right, I'll put it back over on one. And if you haven't noticed, I also have stage mics. Yes, they are professional grade. These are professional grade stage mics set up to the stereo. So as I demonstrate here, hang on a second. Hear that? Yeah, now I can talk through the stereo like this. Works pretty well. We work really good on stage. Yeah. Turn that, I'll turn, turn this back off. Yeah, this whole thing is set up to be like a stage system. Um, it was sort of inspiring. Originally got the stereo and then I wanted to get this and set all the main units up on top, just kind of expand it more. Then I decided to merge the stereos together, add stage mics, and yeah, I'm just going all out on it, piece by piece. Uh, best of the best. All right, so then you also got easier user EQs, which I do mess with a lot. I like to have the bass down most of the time to, uh, so I can listen to a lot of music and not disturb others. Yeah, I still, I still disturb others, but not as much. You got your DJ beat panning, which I don't really mess with. Um, I do use CD a lot. You press CD and you press open, and out comes your tray. Like so. I ain't gonna play any music though because of copyright issues. So, sorry about that. This, by the way, this knob, I'll show you this real quick. I'll put it back on USB. You can press, once you have it on USB, like so, you can press the search button and use the volume knob to find a song of your choice. Whether if you got 10 songs or 600 songs like I roughly have on this drive, play whatever you want. You let it sit on that track for a few seconds, it'll start playing it. Yep. Like so. All right. Oh, you also got your tempo. You make it sound like chipmunks. That actually sounds pretty good. Or you can slow it down. Oops, that's volume. Gotta find that sweet spot for every song. Alright, that was tempo negative one. Better turn that down. I want copyright. Alright. Same thing on this speaker, by the way, as I did with that one. Yeah. I will go through the different phases. Sorry if this video ain't the most organized. Alright. So you got Aurora, which is my favorite. It goes through all the phases, the colors. Got Off, which if you use with your TV, which I will demonstrate here shortly, it uh, gives you thundering theater sound like you'd never believe, but without the speakers bothering you, you know, with the lights. And then you got Stardust, Emerald Moon, Solar Bomb, which is pretty cool. Shooting star. Star, which just it just does that right there. That's kind of like a strobe light. Again, that kind of reminds me of something. I can picture that on stage. I don't know. I'm I'm weird. There's party one. Party two. 
which uh, I think just does a different pattern. Party three. Party four. Fun one. Fun two. Pure. There you go. Okay. Fresh one, which does greens, which I do like. The green is kind of cool. Fresh two, different pattern of the first one, I think. Love one, which goes through reds, purples, oranges, and hits a little yellow. It's This one's actually pretty cool. I thought it'd be more feminine than what it actually is, but it gives me some cool reds and oranges that I like. You got love two. Joy one, which is blues. Really cool. I haven't a lot of these I haven't really went through. I find myself using Aurora Party One or uh Emerald Moon the, the most. Or if I press uh Giga Party, if I turn that feature on that amps up the stereo, it for some reason puts it on star, which flashes that strobe white I was showing you. There's uh Joy two. This one's actually cool. Sunset. This one does red, red and whites. Really nice. I think what uh, if I haven't really said this already, all these uh, different patterns and colors have a user preference. So if you, you know, I I feel like they they go best with particular songs. This one I hear going something like a a uh, kind of a particular. Uh, hip-hop songs like you know and then you know like the pinks and purples kind of go with songs that are a bit more feminine or something or gothy i don't know and there's sunrise which instead of red and white just use red and blue this one's really cool looking that red and blue look, looks nice and nature one red and greens nature two purple and green and a couple others that one surprised me wave one Wave 2, and then back over to Aurora. Alright. By the way, you can record on, on this one, or you just use it as a music drive like I do. And uh, I think you can record stuff off the radio, or your own mixes, since this is a DJ style board. You got your microphone adjustment here. So you go all the way down or up to 10. Hey, I keep it all the way up for full power, so that way if I, all I have to do is do the volume knob. And I have music still playing. Okay, I'm gonna show you this feature real quick. This is called TV Sound Connect. Once I press that, it automatically connects to my Samsung 40 inch uh, smart TV. Let me find my damn TV remote. Okay. So. I'll select this one here. I think this is one that does, hasn't been bothered with copyright. Alright. You will see that it plays. Uh, Sorry for the ad. Alright. And it does that. By the way, the speakers simultaneously connect with the output of the screen. There's no delay. Whatever you see on screen, the, the speakers are, sound is perfectly in sync, which I do like. This other stereo couldn't do that. I thought that was pretty dope. So. Trying to get some more shots of the stereo. Okay. 
Alright. I'm gonna show you this earth theory while that's playing because I'm trying to cut this video down a little bit. This is the Sony LBT GPX 555 1800 watt system. Alright, I'll put it on CD mode so it won't connect to the stereo and interfere with the TV. So, because once these two connect, the Samsung system works with the Sony system. The Sony system does not connect to the TV the way I want it to. There's an audio delay that I don't much care for. So, but it's a beautiful stereo overall. This is a 600 watt, 8 inch speaker, or 1 inch tweeter, sound pressure horn. Got another 600 watt, 10 inch subwoofer with a dual port uh, base radiator. Same thing over here. In case you're wondering, I've had this stereo for over two and a half years now. It looks really good because I did a fresh detail on it yesterday. That's right. I detail my stereos. I take good care of my equipment. It pays off. Look at that shine. That's remarkable. Looks like it just came out of the box. Does it not? Wow. Looks, almost looks better on camera, but I couldn't say that. You have to be here to actually experience this shit to really be amazed. This stereo is definitely my favorite. I didn't go over this earlier. This, by the way, it's an 850 watt 10 inch woofer, 850 watt 18 inch subwoofer, 300 watt 4 inch mid, 1 inch tweeter, and then base radiator, base radiator, and then subwoofer, base radiator, and then our subwoofer, base radiator. This by, by the way, these are both on wheels. Let's see. And they do lock. So if he really sings up on stage, you don't have to worry about them rolling around. They do have locking wheels. Um, they have wheels because these things weigh about 110.3 pounds a piece. They are very heavy. There's a, a warning label on one of them that recommends two people, and I couldn't agree more. It, is, it wouldn't be safe to pick these up and move around with them. I don't care how big you are, you don't have to be a hero and show off. Things are expensive. So if you drop them, you might be in a hole a little bit. I'm gonna post another video along with this separately. It this sort of shows how much these subwoofers will flex on a bass song. I couldn't really pick it up a whole lot. Whatever you see on camera is four times in real person. There's a lot of uh, light glare. I couldn't really focus on the actual movement of the subwoofer, but they move a lot. So did the, the room around it. Like, I took this little stack of books right there, just shot them off the shelf. CDs, I actually had to put them on my bed because they were shooting off the fucking shelf like something out of a paranormal movie. There was this insane bass, and that was just what the big stereo alone. If you put the two together, Get the fuck out of the house. Yeah. By the way, I will be adding party lights to go with this stereo. I plan to put them in the corners. So, like I said, I'm just piecing this thing together. I'm always making it better, adding stuff to it. But, as far as I'm concerned, this stereo is very loud. According to a, a chart that I went over, it, it sits at about 135 decibels. There's something for you to study 135 decibels that represents your average rock concert so yeah if you guys think the stereo is overrated you need to do some work they the stereo gets a lot of hate because of its insane speaker power and price from what i'm gathering because anybody that buys the stereo appreciates it and they got respect solely for the sound and power that it has ain't nothing to play with All right. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is a 30. Sorry about that. 
By the way, this is a 32 gig flash drive. So if you guys are looking for a decent flash drive for your stereo, 32 gig is a perfect number. It has almost 600 songs on it and it's not even close to being half full. So the same here, I got, I believe there's two 32 gig flash drives here. And they're all, they're all 3.0s. Only go with 3.0s these days, that's, a, that's what they offer. By the way, with this stereo, you got your bass bazooka, turn that off or back on. See? It goes up, they both go up to 50 by the way. I will show you what it does. See, it does that. 50. Some people might argue that that would represent 51. Eh, I don't know. It does get pretty loud. The stereo does give you a lot of bass, but when they when when the two stereos are paired together, the Sony system actually it fills in all the soft spots. So if the big stereo ain't delivering good enough highs, the stereo covers it for sure. I mean, it it does what I want it to do. It definitely gives you more sound I don't know this there's a lot of times though where the stereo doesn't isn't even needed this one is so loud that I will find myself not using this one but who would argue with that all right and then you got your Bluetooth button here you got different colors I'll go through the colors real quick you got digital green strobe white let me get over here so you can see it better rainbow which goes through all all the colors since all the colors that are in the stereo got sexy which is like feminine colors purple pink and like a kind of an aqua blue see what's doing to the volume knob it's pretty cool looking you got coal, which does like light, aqua, and then yellows. See, it's a light yellow, not the actual yellow. Passion, which is all yellow, it's a rich, rich color yellow. Fiesta, which does blue and green, I, I think. Blue, green, and yellow. Or, yeah, green, yellow, different patterns. See, this is cool. I like the blue green and gear. I wish I can get to do that constantly. You got Rasta, which it has in our color patterns. It does red, green, and and then green, yellow. There's red, green, and yellow are the colors. I like this one. It gives me a Christmas color pattern. Green, red, green, red, green, red. It's all nice. From subwoofer to speaker. This is uh, magma. It's all red. And then back over to aqua, which looks really nice, especially after this detail. Everything's shining like it does, and then that blue really tops it. Wow. And you got your DJ effects. You got your pan flanger. Wow, and uh, isolator, which this one basically beats up the bass, which I like to play with every now and then. You got your FM tuner, CD, audio in, and uh, USB select, which press it once, it gives you this, press it again, it'll give you this one. And this one, if you hold it down, will activate your party chain or turn it off. And this is uh, for your, you can adjust your EQ or go through football mode with that one, I think. Or, no, there's your football mode. My bad. Got your big volume knob. Got your controls, which I never really use these buttons. They're so nice to look at us. I don't bother touching them. You got your options, which you can go through your hardware. You can adjust your speaker power and your subwoofer output. You can also turn the subwoofer off, in case you're wondering. 
You can not you can turn the subwoofer off. You got your LED color and pattern as I already showed you. Well, I didn't show you the patterns. You got power, which I keep it on. You got level, which goes up and down to the music. Flash. And uh, moody, which basically does an aurora effect like this one. Just, just phases in and out from color to color, like so. Or if you just have it on one color like I do. And then you got off, you can turn it off if you want that. Or you can, on, and then you got speed, which speed's what it's, that's what it's set on when it comes out of the box, new. But I like to keep it on power. That's my favorite one. It, from time to time it'll, it'll give you some lightning flashes, I like to call them. It'll, you got your color you chose. But then it'll throw in like a flash of white every now. It gives it like a lightning effect. It's pretty cool to watch. And it comes and goes. You can't really predict it. So it makes it more interesting. There's all the wires. They're both actually pretty simple setups. There isn't a whole lot to go over. But if we're running multiple systems together like I am, it might take a little bit more um, knowledge. All right, I'm gonna turn this system back off. Hell yeah, no, I'll leave it on. All right, so there's my review of the stereo. I try to get some good shots of and go over the basics and some more in depth details. If there's anything else you'd like me to go over, please comment below. But in the meantime, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Sean Money Diddy Productions out. <laughs>